previously on X Life. Yeah. Yeah. You know, 1.30. No matter how hungover I am, I usually suck it up and stand there and support him 100%. I brought your mom across for good luck. Thanks for bringing that. You know about Australia, right? You're going to be gone for how long? Two weeks. Don't go. I'm super bummed that Corey's going to be gone for so long. I'm going to miss you guys. See you in Australia. Tonight on The X Life. I don't know that you would come to go watch me do anything. All I want from Pierre is for him to appreciate me. Maybe next time you have a skateboard tournament, I'll show up at the end. I was sorry I showed up late. I was disappointed. I just thought you would be there. Fabulous. So I'm in Tehachapi to skate the mega ramp at Woodward West for the first time. The mega ramp is the biggest, sickest ramp in the world, and you need to be a really experienced bird skater to be successful without getting hurt. How far does it go up? Like, where's the top, please, if you would? I love when you ignore me. I'm just going to go get my board and just yeah. warm up. It's real for you. All right. So it took us four hours to drive out here, and, you know, it's just a very long drive. And I'm just looking forward to going back to the hotel and spending some quality time with Pierre. I'm going to go uh, hitchhike on the road. See if maybe, you know, I get kidnapped. Are you going to go skate a giant ramp? Because I'm like, you love me. You know, I'm extremely supportive when it comes to what Pierre does. And, you know, proud and happy that he's, he's here to skate the mega ramp. But I just hate when he asks me to tag along and then completely ignores me. Why couldn't I go out with, like, some rich entrepreneur hotels and resorts? Claire! Would you like a massage? Nice purse? No, let's go drive to the middle of nowhere and skate up and down a big wooden thing. Uh, I know how to pick them. <laughs> why drinking and meeting men at the same time does not work. Don't embarrass me. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yay! Woo! Oh, my God. Woo! Are you done? No more. Now it's time to hook up the yes. Skype to talk to Dad. Yeah. Corey's in Australia, and it's just me and the kids. I get sad when he's gone, and I know the kids are too, so. You want to get dressed? Yeah! Trey, calm down. It's too hyper. But this is definitely, you know, this is our life. This is how it is. Hello? Baby! Hold on, honey. Say hi! Hi, Dad. Hi, Trey. Do you see us, honey? This thing makes me look ugly as shitballs. Oh, honey, the kids. <gasps> oh, babe. Hi, oh, she misses you, honey. Look at. <laughs> Dada, -da. stop, stop, stop. Can you stop, please? If I have to ask you again, you're going to get in trouble. Hi. <laughs> Don't you wish you were home? You look good when you're mad. You always tell me that. You're pretty when you're mad. Oh, honey. I can't wait till you get here. We got our whole life figured out as soon as you get here. I can't wait to see what you're talking about. Kiss me, really. Kiss me on here. I wish the kids were out of the room so I could tell you. <laughs> I knew you would. Bye. Bye. I love Bye, you. Trey, I love you. Good daddy kiss. Good daddy kiss. I love you.
Love you, babe. Love you. So what do you feel like doing? Thawing my bones out. <laughs> uh, I want to skate again tonight in the uh, indoor park. I hate you. I swear to God. I figured with the season being over, we would be spending more time together and that he would be focusing on us more. And, you know, I want to be able to spend some time with him, but instead we're once again skateboarding and talking about skateboarding, and it's just not always that fun for me. Here I sat there, I was patient. I didn't complain. I had nobody to talk to. You could have actually came up to the top of the mega ramp and watched from the top. I watch you all the time. I don't know that you would come to go watch me do anything. You tell me to go F myself. Are you actually doing a mud run on the... Yeah, I don't think you're going to come to that, are you? I wouldn't miss it for anything. It means a lot to me that Pierre is going to come and support me at the mud run. And he's going to have a great time seeing me do something for a change and him being on the sidelines cheering me on. So I, I'm so happy that he's coming. Do you smell this? I think she pooped inside the room. Well, you wanted to bring the dogs here. Yeah, so I really you... think she did. Where'd you poop? Not so much oh, over I here. Oh, she smells. I think, I think she ate it. <laughs> Look, Denise, come here. Smell that breath. Oh! She ate it. Do you have, like, mints or something no, like that? No, I can't give her gum. Oh, I got uh, that's wet that's wipes. That's a baby. What? Zoe, come here. Oh my God, Zoe. That's what you get for eating poo. Oh this is why people want to know why we don't have any kids, because look. I think, I think it's better now. If we had kids, and they would be eating their own shit. Are you kidding me? I don't want to kids deal with any more that. shit. Like, this is enough poo. I'm gonna die. Okay. Robert's my trainer, and somehow he talked me into doing this fucking mud run with a bunch of other people from the gym. It's a 5K run. You're actually running over muddy hills and going through obstacle courses. It seemed like a good idea when I said yes, but I'm kind of questioning that now. We're winners. We're going for number one, dude. We're not messing around. Yeah, man. What's up? I don't know. I don't even, I don't even stay here right now. I think we're going. Oh, are we going? Oh, oh, we're Doing this is a way to, to prove to myself that I can have my own thing and that, you know, I'm strong and, and, and this is not something that's in my comfort zone, believe me. It's gonna be crazy. Running through the finish line, I was so proud of myself that I stuck through it and, and, and I didn't quit. So I'm looking around for Pierre and I, I don't see him anywhere. He's absolutely nowhere to be found and it was it was really sad to me. And you know, I, I just I don't even know what to say. Coming up. I'm just so sick of you belittling everything. I'm sorry that I don't fucking ride around a skateboard like a goddamn monkey all the time. I deserve someone that when they fuck up, they say they're sorry. It's never right, it's never good enough, it's stupid, it's lame. You don't even acknowledge me, you walk away with Robert. So I'm looking around for Pierre and I, I don't see him anywhere. He's absolutely nowhere to be found and it was, it was really sad to me. And you know, I, I just, I don't even know what to say. You know, it's disappointing. Thank you for uh, making me do that.
I told you, you might not like why you're doing it, but give it a good 30 minutes. I need to take a picture. And we made it. You yeah, did I'm so good. Nice little, uh, <laughs> you want a corn dog? <laughs> Dude, where were you today? So yeah, I showed up late. I really screwed up. And I'm pretty pissed off on myself. I wasn't there on time. Kind of a bum out. Maybe next time we have a skateboard tournament, I'll show up at the end. You know what? They had me parked like so freaking far. How could everybody else's boyfriend show up on time and you're late? <laughs> I had to pick up Jessica this morning. Go with him. Dress, babe. You see her clothes? No. You don't see her clothes right there? Oh yeah, I do. Isn't that what you want to wear? Yeah. Okay. Corey's in Australia, and it's just me and the kids, which is a lot. It's almost like I'm a single mom a lot of the time when he's out of town. <coughs> When he's out of, out of town, it's, you know, two against one. And it can be hard sometimes. And I'm like a total stress case. So getting Trey to school on his first day, it's an important big day for him. London's, you know, being fussy. And I have to, you know, take care of her and her needs. There's, there's nothing we can do about it. It's a sacrifice that we all have to make. It's my 24 seven life. There's no way around it. There's no, nothing. That's my life. Oh, Trey, Trey. What? Did you forget something? I don't want underwear. You have to wear underwear. No. No, that's, you have to wear underwear with jeans, Trey. Come on. My little commando boy. I know daddy taught you that, but. Commando. Where's our little mud runner? Knees. Bars are on sale. Where's my food? Uh, breakfast is in there. So, hey, Denise, I know we got there late, but hey, thanks for waiting for us. You yeah. know, I'm just so sick of you belittling everything. I'm sorry that I don't fucking ride around a skateboard like a goddamn monkey all the time, you know? Like, <laughs> ooh, you do so much better. I don't like a Like a goddamn like, monkey? Like, I don't do stuff like this normally. Why couldn't you just be like, you know what, Denise? I get it. Like, I ran through this obstacle course that I never thought I could do. I was almost throwing up from it. If it's such a drag, why'd you even do it? I'm just, I want to go lay down for a minute. I hate you. Here, turning the situation around made me angry. He made it about himself and turned it around to where it was my fault and it wasn't my fault. I deserve better than that and I deserve someone that when they fuck up, they say they're sorry. I don't want excuses. You know, he's not 15 years old and I'm not his mother. Let me break for a little bit, okay? I don't think. Have some flowers. Everything that's supposed to be good is always, where's the life place? It's not supposed to be this way. I can't do anything. It's never right. It's never good enough. It's stupid. It's lame. I thought you would be proud of me. So I am. I was sorry I showed up late. No, I was kind of felt bad. And then I got there. You don't even acknowledge me. You walk away with Robert. I was disappointed. That's all. I'm disappointed that you weren't there. I looked up and I was looking for you and I just thought you would be there. And it just made me sad. That's all. Coming up, I can't ever ask for anything. Like, for instance, I walk the dogs twice, and I go, Pierre, can you maybe do the dishes? The dishes and the dogs, like, be happy that that's the problem. And maybe it's just different. It's a different, definitely yeah. a different kind of love. Over and Bar. sore from the mud run. Oh, I'm sure. Ooh. I thought I was gonna die in the middle of it, and my knees are cut to shreds from crawling through the mud. Wait, you had to crawl? Uh huh. I thought it was yeah. just. I like had a... mud in my ears, up my nose. There's mud everywhere. Wow, that sounds. Yeah, that sounds. Amazing. And then I kind of got. Um, yeah, I was a little disappointed because Pierre didn't make it on time. He didn't show up until like 20 minutes after I had finished 
and he... Until you were done? Yeah. Well, did something happen? Was it an accident? No, he just can't get out of bed, and he kept saying, well, you didn't wake me up, and I'm like, I'm not your mom. This is what wow. bothers me, is that okay. instead of apologizing and just saying, you know what, this time I'm sorry, like, you're right, I, I screwed up. And he started going on about it again and trying to turn it around. I just looked at him and said, say you're sorry. If I'm wrong, I say I'm wrong. I have no problem admitting that, and that's what his problem is. He just he can't admit it, because God forbid he's wrong. Why do you think he's that way? I think he feels like because he does pay for everything, you know, that I can't ever ask for anything. So, like, for instance, like, if I've made dinner, right, and I'm walking, I've walked the dogs twice, and I go, Pierre, can you maybe do the dishes? Because now I'm tired, and I want to just take a shower. Huh. He goes, yeah, and then doesn't do it, and then, like, yells at me two days later, and he goes, you, you can't even do dishes. We definitely understand why she was super bummed out about Pierre not showing up. I mean, I totally get that. I would be bummed out, too. But walking the dogs and doing the dishes, and that's one of her biggest complaints in the relationship, I, I don't get that. I don't know what else your responsibilities are with him. Like, I don't know what else he expects from you. Right. You know what I mean? Like, the dishes and the dogs, like, be happy that that's the problem. I can't ever ask for anything. Like, for instance, he goes, you, you can't even do dishes. The dishes and the dogs, like, be happy that that's the problem. I don't even give Corey a hard time about the dishes or anything like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? I just don't because that's, to me, that's my responsibility. And then for him to go and make the money and provide the house and provide the groceries and, you know what I mean, take care of us. They're taking it too literally. I just want him to be appreciative of the things that I do do for him, you know? And they think that I'm being a bad girlfriend because I'm not just happy with whatever he decides to give me. Relationships don't work that way. I don't want you to get the impression that I'm some, like, spoiled person that's like the point is is that as you know girlfriends and wives of extreme athletes i take care of the kids i go grocery shopping i send out an email if he wants me to i clean the house and that is my job and i take full responsibility for that and in return he supports me 100 a million percent and so that to me it's you, a fair, yeah, it's yeah. a fair, it's a fair, fair trade. trade maybe it's just different it's a though. different definitely yeah. a different kind of love yeah that's yeah. funny What did you guys do the whole time? Shots of wine? We were talking about like my relationship with you. <laughs> I was over it. I just want to have you yeah. fun with her. Oh, who brought her up? Yeah, I think she was belittling me a little bit when she was saying, like, oh, like, Susie, you do so much and then I don't do shit. Nicole was like basically judging. Yeah, and I'm just like. I'm not going and judging their relationship. Why is she asking that or I don't know. Give her fun? I don't know, the funny part to me is that she's being very quick to judge. I just feel like every, everything I do is wrong. The mud run is wrong, you turn that you. into something. What? But even oh. the mud run, like with, with Robert, like that turned into something negative. I was like, just kind of bummed that, all right, I understand I got there late, but then you ran away, and I was like, all right, I'm there no, late. But it's like everything I do is wrong. Like, it's right, like I'm like, never allowed what? to, like, feel anything because I'm wrong. If I'm upset about something, I'm wrong. I feel like I'm getting judged all the time. By and, like, who? By everyone. Like, you, like, her, like, you know, I'm just starting to lose. It's like, I don't, I don't want this. Like, it's, I don't want to defend myself all the time. Like, what do you have me in your life for then? Like, why are we even yep. together? Well, obviously, hey, well, I'm a horrible girlfriend. I'm you know a horrible what? person. This is being a turn around on me. No, like, I'm not. the one that said something, because I, I, I obviously like, I know, didn't say something. I know, I know, I know you agree, though, I know. No, I, I don't completely agree. I don't want you to be just like a housewife or anything like that. So, I don't know. I just feel like sometimes you could try a little bit harder around the house, you know. Between talking to Nicole at the bar and, 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 and then Pierre, you know, I, I at this point, I just don't even know why Pierre is with me. It's like I, I don't seem to do anything right, and I'm just getting sick of everything always being about Pierre's feelings, you know? What about me? Like, am I not here? What's wrong with wanting to, to, to feel, you know, loved? Next time on X Life. Is the prenup gonna guarantee a certain amount of sex that I'm gonna be getting? You're truly stupid. Oh, damn. Let me see the size of the ring and then we'll oh, figure that out later. This is a penis. Um.
Welcome to Australia, honey. I just want to propose. It's such a big deal. Fuck. Oh, say yes to being my wife for the rest of your life. Are you kidding me right now?